Alrighty, well, undeterred against all common sense and frustrations and will of the people that I am ostensibly recording this for in an effort to entertain, I am going to march forth into Dathomir, the area of further in the gameitude. But, you know, I've, uh, whenever I play an RPG, I try to beeline it straight to the end of the game. Progression and story be damned. Man, burial pod. Is this what they call it? Is this what they mean when they say bust a nut? Because that's what it looks like right now. Can I get dripped on by the bust? The, the nut? The busted nut? Uh, only if I come over here. There we go. There we go. Just just embrace the drizzle of the... Anyway. Uh, let's move on. Oh, there's an unbusted nut. For now! Oh, okay. Well, I can scan the, un the unbusted nut. What's this? What is this? It's a hydratus. Uh, it is a... It's a dry, rocky areas. Air is filtered through its filaments, which trap dust and bacteria. Once filtered, the filaments contract to lock clean air inside, creating a humid environment where the hydratus can absorb a small amount of water it needs to survive. Also known as a cactus, also known, known as nature's HEPA filter artichoke. Put one in your living room and, you know, you'll never have to, uh... Buy, and you'll have to worry about, like, dust and allergens ever again. Hi! You're cute. Ah, God, you're disgusting. You horrible fucking monster. All right, I use my lightsaber to expel away poison? Oh, and these things explode too? Ugh. Everything's, this is not a good idea, is it? Eh. The Bane-backed spider. I should probably spend these skill points, but the Bainback Spider is a venomous... Yes, it is. Ah, shit. I don't want to deal with more of them. Howie. Ah, uh, okay, here's the plan. Ah! Alright, the plan was to try and get off of the cliff. The plan, in practice, was the game... Being like, you don't want to fall off of cliffs. We remember what happened earlier. <sighs> you know, when you want to fall off of a cliff, the world just puts up a fence. I do have a skill point now, though. So what I'm going to do now that I'm respawning is I'm going to pop back into the back of the spaceship. I'm going to I'm going to sit there and and meditate on my victory, and then I'm going to use that victory to to to. Wait, do I have to fight and kill that thing to get my shit, my skill point back? I hope I don't. Oh, I'm about to find out. I haven't died in this game before, so I don't know what the consequences of it are. Obviously, I'm kidding. Okay, we're gonna come in here, we're gonna meditate, and... We have... Two skill points available. Perfect. So, let's pop into that skill tree. We're gonna go to force powers. I... Well... I have no more force powers unlocked, so I guess I'm gonna have to do... Uh... Probably some of the combat arts here. We'll do... Um... Extra life. Sure. And then we'll do increased, uh... Increased stamina. For blocking. Alright, this is fine. So, the I guess the right skill tree is gonna be my passives. The left skill tree is gonna be my magic. Uh, oh, sorry, my midichlory jick. And I will, um, probably continue to go in that direction because, hell, I really didn't have much of a choice and things like dash strikes and all that stuff doesn't really strike me as all that interesting or dashing. Uh, anyway, I guess that, that thing, 
that I just killed up on the Mesa or the Plateau must have been a mini boss because he's not spawned up there anymore, which would be very good news because if I had to fight him again, then all of that like experience or whatever that was going to be. Oh, fuck. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. He just, I just need to pretend that he doesn't exist. You know, we can coexist peacefully. We've all seen those bumper stickers. Uh, but I was gonna say, if I have to fight that guy every time, then I'm just gonna count, like, that spider won the day. Uh, he's- I'm not getting my stuff back from him. Alright, uh, what- What the fuck? <laughs> ah! Alright. I don't like fighting these guys, but I want my shit. Okay, yeah, I really don't like fighting them. Bye. Cause all right, here we go. Can I can I hit him when I come up the cliff? The answer is sort of. All right, here we go. Here we go. Owie. God. No. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Just back off that cliffy. There we go. There we go. Can I just go ahead and heal up? And I have to use both of them to fight one tiny freaking spider. Huh. Guess this must be Space Australia. Because this... Spiders are big. Yeah, I guess Darth Maul is a, is a, is an Australian. How in the fuck does this guy react that quickly to be able to like get me as soon? He gives me no time to react when I get up that cliffy. That's not fair. All right, here we go. Yeah, what the hell? Okay, can you come closer, please, sir? Um. Here we go. There we go. All right. I'm going to kick your ass. Yeah, see that? You can't... You, your goo can't do anything if I uh, hold up a very, like, effectively a stick of wax. Wait, what am I trying... Like a bean pulled between me and it. Ah. All right. That was really, really easy. I can't believe that these guys gave me any sort of challenge whatsoever. The first time I came through here, but you know, just uh, lulling them in a, into a false sense of superiority. Come on, boy. What you got for me? Oh, oh, what's that? You're gonna just spray goo at me? Weird. Weird how completely ineffective that is. Huh. I think you would have figured that out on account of the fact that I've killed all your friends, but, you know, it's fine. It's fine. We all didn't pay attention in school. There's all lessons that we need to learn, and, you know, some of us are just a little bit slower learners. But, you know, I will, uh, I'll assist with making sure that lesson really sticks, uh, in the afterlife, anyway. Something we can use? Is there anything I'm gonna ever get from chess that isn't gonna be cosmetic? I mean, probably, but so far it seems like I've mostly just gotten, like, random shit. Uh, that being said, I am interested in seeing what customizations I have for the robot, because... I want to see if I can make the robot a furry. I mean, no, not that. That's not... Mm -mm. It's fine. Okay, here we go. That is the most illogical... You cannot... There's no way. I mean, you gotta have force powers, like, to do something like that, but he didn't even use the force. There's no way that a human being could ever move like that to run across a wall, jump off the wall, and wind up higher to do the same thing again? I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I'm not a parkourist, so I don't really know, but something about that struck me as grade A bullshit. practicing her craft. Ooh, can I get Night Sister training? Years before they were wiped out, the Night Sisters came together in this area to practice their magic. <coughs> Alright, I guess that's it. The other day, I was watching a commercial for Dove Women's Deodorant, and it showed women, like, playing volleyball, getting raises, like, doing yoga, all sorts of, all sorts of stuff. And all I was thinking is like, 
Fuck, man. I want to do all that shit. All I need to do to pull that off is just wear, like, women's deodorant? Because if so, I will gladly pay that price to be able to, like, win volleyball tournaments and, like, like talk to guys um, with confidence. Ah, I'm gonna die. Oh, God, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fucking die to spiders again. This sucks. This is super fucking lame. Don't die to spiders. Whatever you do. Ow, I'm dying to spiders. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh. God, they're gonna fart at me from a distance. If only I get fucking Dove Women's deodorant. They could really use some right now. Okay. No, fuck. Oh. Alright, that's fine. Um... I don't feel like fighting th this planet anymore. It feels really, really hard. Like... Like, really, like, quite difficult. You know. I mean... Maybe... Maybe that route is, like, really tough. But, like... That was... That was... I don't know. Maybe I'll try... I'll try one more thing. I'll go past where I killed the really, really hard guy because surely the game can only get easier from that direction, right? And uh, if if I'm correct in this assumption, which I will be, then I'm assuming that there will be like lots of plot that I can just skip right into and I'll just like find like the final boss and they'll be like, oh shit, you found me. Um, and then like they'll be like, watching TV or something and they don't they won't have like their Darth Vader suit on so they'll just be like sitting there like eating some shit they'll they'll be eating their bowl of shit and then uh I'll just come in and I'll stab them and then that's the game man sequence broken okay scan it this guy's gonna come here is he Good yeah job. not Uh, and if he does, he's certainly distracted. He's not gonna find me. Oh shit, he found me. Well, um, I can, I can work with this pretty easily. See? He has no idea where I went to. Alright. Oh. <laughs> get, get me out of here, please, for the love of God. Oh my God, game. That was the worst. I'm getting the fuck off this planet. Oh, Lord have mercy. That was... Oh, I deserved every second of that. Let's head to Zepho. Whew. That was, uh... Hilarious. God, I hate these loading screens. At least give me a tooltip that says something like, To kill the enemy, punch him with the sword. Or like a picture of like an anime cat girl or something. You know, give the people what they want. Let's head to the hollow... Right, where we go next. ...craft or whatever those thing was called. And we're going to go to Zetho. To the... Wait, what? Okay, so I can view the map. Oh, I pressed X on it, and it... Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I need to press square to travel to the planet, because that's what the game tells me to do. You know, you never told me how you became a Jedi. I was discovered by a Seeker when I was very young. They that's not how the Seeker train. works. Oh, yeah. Harry Potter Seekers. catches the Seeker. It's not the other way I'll around. Oh, wait, no. You have no idea uh, what a Seeker is, do you? Yeah, you're right. I not don't. a clue. They seek things? Yes. They're Jedi sent to find and retrieve young Force sensitives. Like the ones on that holocron. I was a Seeker. Whoa, whoa. You know what this means. I didn't what? discover Cal, if that's what you're thinking. No, it means I'm a Seeker, too. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. Seeker agrees. Time to uh, land. Get up here. 
All right, sit in the cockpit chair. Will do. Trying to see if I can clip it. Yes! Ah, perfect. Oh shit, that's a big storm. Think of a storm brewing down there. This might not be the best time to land. Yeah, something strange. Those winds are interfering. We went into cutscene mode. Oh Cordova shit! Someone's gonna die. The, the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Copy that. I. I have some serious doubts oh. about this guy's piloting Couple skills to fly into the you, largest tornado oh, I've ever trouble. seen on the entire planet. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. Because it's under control, it's just a little tricky. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Perfect landing. Greasy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. My favorite part about Star Wars is that every planet Cal, basically has one here. climate and one city you on it. Work on now. Wait, what did she, was she complimenting me? Uh, she's probably lying. <laughs> uh, depression memes are the best memes. Hey, man. Uh, Good. yeah. Oh, we did it. We did it. I hope you're not hurt. What are you looking at? Who are you talking to? Uh, the spaceship. My ship. The Manus. Good name, right? Intimidating. Oh, what do you know? You've probably never even flown a ship. Maybe I'll teach you one day. When you're done with your Jedi stuff, I'll even give you a discount. Yeah, I don't know if I want to learn how to fly from this guy. Definitely looks like uh, he managed to break his shit's, uh, his ship's foot. I don't know how you can do that, but yeah, he found a way. I could talk to him. Um, all right, here we go. Time to venture forth, and, uh, what was I trying to do here? We're going to Cordova, which I thought was Zepho. I don't know, man, they're all the same thing. All right, here we go. Open this, and we got ourselves a fancy new BD skin. So I guess I'll go ahead and pop that on real quick. So they can either be blue like an R2D2, or they could be red like a like a well that's a gross color. Yeah, sure, we'll go with that one. That's the uh that's the color of of rust and and recycled beady robots. This robot was made from the parts of dead of other dead robots. Um, I mean, maybe that's, uh, maybe that's something that kind of applies to all of us, except it doesn't whatsoever. I was trying to see if there was a profound thought there, but, like, it was so stupid, even I couldn't put it together. Wow, down. what a surprise. The front door is locked. Okay, let's go ahead and... Pop over here, apparently. The derelict hangar. Well, at least it's aptly named. I wonder if they if it probably had a name that was, you know, different beforehand, or if they just fucking built this thing. Uh, and they were like, they were like, wow, this uh this hangar really sucks. Why'd you build it this way? And they're like, it's the derelict hangar. It's my life's work. Some sort of artsy Thanks, ass architect want? put this one together. Data update scan, storage great. Wow! I had to go to a fucking planet to scan a box to learn how boxes work. Science.